the first thing is to note which countries are actually bordering on the South China Sea, and then distinguish those from the ones who actually make claims. I'm Dave Danoon, and I'm the director of the NYU Center on U.S.-China Relations. The ones who are actually claimants are Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan, Brunei, and the Philippines. And of course, China has, on various maps, drawn what they call the nine dash line, which covers the areas they claim as theirs. It's a very complicated situation. About one quarter of the world's shipping goes through that area. The second element is that there may be both oil and natural gas. The third is the strategic importance of the islands. It's hard to describe these Ks and, and reefs without saying the word island. There was a decision by the International Tribunal of the Law of the Sea in July of 2016. China's claim was not valid under international law. The rock outcroppings don't qualify as islands. That means they don't qualify for a 12-mile territorial sea. It also means they don't qualify for an exclusive economic zone. So none of the countries, including China, is entitled to an exclusive economic zone in the region. China, however, did not abide by the ruling and has gone ahead with the construction of these military outposts. What China is trying to do is occupy enough of these islands so that they can bring its navy down uh, and their air force down to try to dominate the area if there's a crisis. At the moment, the American 7th Fleet is the dominant military power. But over the next, say, 20 to 30 years, China will become more and more important.